Well, this weekend, the Dad Val Regatta is back, and for the first time in its long storied history, the race is in Camden County instead of the Schuylkill River. Marcus, talk about a, a break in tradition here. I love the enthusiasm there. Yeah, this is a big deal. That race has always been at the Schuylkill, but it's at the Cooper River now behind me here in Pensacola. It's a beautiful place to be at, and folks are excited at the new venue, and everybody's ready to compete. It's back, but it's not in the same place. We're staging the 84th annual Dadville Regatta right here on the Cooper River. The biggest regatta in the nation taking things to South Jersey for the first time ever in its history. It's a change for sure, but one that James Hanna with the Dad Vale Regatta Organizing Committee says was necessary for now. In terms of uh, change, substantial. Our board questioned whether or not we could continue to stage the regatta on the Schuylkill with the uncertainty of dredging and decided rather than take that risk. West Point senior rowing member Kamek Shepler and his crew are delighted actually to be on this river as they just raced it a few weeks ago. From the rowers perspective, I like how it gives you the distance markings along the course you can see just for the mental game. Um, but it feels like a smaller, more intimate venue. The change in venue has brought a change in revenue for one of the river's only restaurants in this area. We've been certainly preparing for it. Chelsea Stillman is the GM here and has been since the place opened in 2018. She said she's had to add as much staff as she could to handle this crowd. As soon as we open the door, a floodgate opened and everyone's been in enjoying it. Carrie Backstrom and Lauren Edson live in the area and Backstrom, a former rower herself and Cherry Hill native, decided to show their support today. It's really cool. It's great to be back on the Cooper River. Uh, this is our like hometown spot. Francesca Meyer and Phoebe Lee are part of a smaller rowing team, but love that they're here ready to compete with those larger programs. I feel really happy. Like I'm really happy to be here and it's been a good experience so far. Like day one went well and I'm ready for tomorrow. Hey guys, some key races finishing up behind me to make it into tomorrow and continue on for the weekend. So racing all day tomorrow. Again, that weather might play a factor, so we'll watch that closely. But all things considered, new venue, new vibes, all good here in South Jersey. Perfect day for it. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Thank you, Marcus.